Hi everyone, it's Vicky here for Limor Weber Designs today and I will be making the fourth page of my mixed media journal. This is the mini mixed media journal by Faber-Castell. It has nice and uh, sturdy pages and I have decided to go with a flower theme for it. So I have been uh, sharing each one of the pages throughout the last months. And today I am going to start on a new page. So to start I am going to use some uh, gel medium all over the page and I am going to stick uh, on top one uh, piece of uh, tissue paper. Notice how my brush isn't very clean, so I leave uh, blue marks, but uh, I don't really mind at the moment, since I am going to cover up everything. The tissue paper at this stage provides an interesting and uh, nice uh, base for my background. I am using my scissors to cut out all the excess, and I am doing that after the gel medium was dry. And now it is time to apply some gesso. This is gesso by Faber-Castell. It is nice and liquid and uh, I like to do gesso washes with uh, this product. And uh, I'm not going to cover up uh, the background since uh, you can still see the text at the back. But at the same time I want to have a nice and gessoed uh, surface because I will be using uh, inks today. Now I am going to work with this uh, beautiful stamp. This is a stamp by Penny Black and it is called Softly. I am going to stamp it with archival link. This is an ink that it is not uh, it is permanent and it is not going to react with any of the mediums that I'm going to put on top. I am stamping the flowers upside down as if they are coming from the top. I know which is uh, the top and the bottom because I can still see where the holes of uh, this page are. This is a liquid mask, it is called Miskit, and I am going to use this product to cover up all the flowers and the leaves. I am going to apply the product with my brush and I am making sure that I am doing a neat job since I want to work on the background and I want to keep the flowers and the leaves nice and white so I can color them at the end. Now this product uh, is actually like rubber, so once it dries it uh, remains a little bit sticky, but you can uh, then rub it off with your fingers and uh, it's uh, very easy to remove. Once I was uh, coloring the last flower, the first ones were already dry, so it uh, really dries uh, quickly. And uh, today to color um, my page I am going to use eye zinc. These are pigment inks, they are uh, quite liquid and they have a dropper on uh, the cap so you can use as much of an uh, amount of paint as uh, you like. A little goes a long way with uh, these inks and uh, as you can see you can dilute them with water just like I am doing here. Just uh, because I don't want to have uh, such a dark color and I need a paler uh, result. Now what is great about these inks is that uh, if you dilute them with water you get uh, the same uh, effect as if it was watercolor but they will dry permanent. So at this point I am using a baby wipe to dab uh, off all the excess color and that is going to blend uh, the color nicely and remove all the brush strokes. Now I am going to use uh, the white ink and I am going to do some splashes with my thin uh, brush. And uh, although I did the splashes at this point, then I decided that I needed to add uh, a few more colors to darken the top area of this uh, page. So I am going to bring two more colors, a darker blue one and a purple one, so that I can make uh, darker shadows at the top. Now you can find all the supplies that I'm using today just below the video in the details area as well as on my blog. And uh, you can find there all the names of uh, the zinc colors that I am using today. I am thinning down the blue color with uh, water and you can see how it works just like a uh, watercolor. And I love that uh, you can have a uh, watercolor effect with these uh, inks, but at the same time you get a permanent result. And again, just like I did uh, at the beginning, I am going to dab off all the excess just because I don't want to have uh, too much of a darker color there. I am going to add just a little bit more and then I am going to do the same thing with purple.
Now I'm happy with the background, so I am going to add those white splashes again since I've lost them while I was adding uh, more blue on top. And now I'm going to rub off this uh, mask, the liquid mask that I was uh, using at the beginning. So you can see how easy it is to peel off. And I am going to do that on every leaf and flower. And you can see how nicely it uh, kept all those images uh, clean from all the ink that I have added and the, the water that I have added on top. So now they are nice and uh, ready to get uh, colored. For the leaves I am going to use this light green and uh, I am going to apply it on the leaves without being very neat. So I don't really care if I go outside of the lines or if I don't color the whole leaf and I leave white spots here and there. This is going to add uh, more to the texture and uh, the effect that I want to get at the end. To do some shading I am going to introduce a second uh, color of uh, green which is slightly darker. At this uh, stage I want to remind you that I'm working on a gessoed surface. If uh, that was just plain paper, then uh, the ink and the water would soak in and I wouldn't be able to move the ink as easy as I am doing it uh, now. And before I go ahead and color the flowers, I'm going to use these pastel pencils. These are by Faber Castell. And uh, you can see how easy I can create shadows. I just uh, draw the line there and blend it with my finger. I am going over the stems and I am going to add some shadows around, around some of the leaves and the flowers. For coloring my flowers, I'm going to use three different colors, yellow, orange and uh, red. And I'm going to start with the yellow. You will see that I won't be coloring the whole flower, but rather uh, leaving uh, some white uh, at uh, the tips of the petals. Also, I'm not going to be very neat and I won't have a nice blending through these uh, three colors, just because I want to have a water coloring effect at the end. I use the dropper of uh, the cup to add just a small amount of uh, ink. You can see how small those uh, ink drops are. And uh, I think that uh, all those inks are going to last me for a long, long time. And here is the final uh, outcome. I am going to use my heat gun to speed up the drying process, make sure that everything is dry so I can move on to the next step. Now, if you have been watching my videos for quite some time, you know that I love my white uh, gel pen. So this is what uh, is my next uh, step. I am going to bring in my Signo white gel pen and I am going to add some highlights on the leaves as well as on the flowers.
For my quote today, I am going to go with uh, this saying that says, uh, Bloom where you're planted. So I am going to stamp it with a Versa marking. This is just a water marking. It's totally transparent. And uh, I can apply some embossing paste on top, which is going to stick only where I have stamped. Now I am going to use my, use my heat gun and I am going to melt down this uh, embossing powder and this is going to give me a nice and emboss effect. The embossing powder that I am using has a nice and vanilla color and you can find a link to this embossing powder just below in the details area. So now that I have my quote there, I am going to add some uh, details on the edges which are going to frame my layout nicely. So I am using one of those uh, long uh, stamps by Limor Weber and you can find the link just below. And I am going to apply some uh, embossing powder. It's the same color as the one that I've used for the quote. So I'm using my heat gun to melt down the embossing powder. And uh, here is the final look of today's page. And now I am going to bring in my crop and I'm going to do the holes again so that I can assemble my mixed media flower journal. So now I have the holes there and I'm going to use the rings to assemble it uh, back again as uh, it should be. I still have a couple of pages to finish off this uh, flower journal which of course I am going to share them with you once I work on them. Now, I get a lot of questions about what I am going to do on the back of those pages. One of the ideas that I have is uh, that I might gesso them and have them nice and white, or I might uh, stick uh, a pattern paper or uh, a tissue paper that is uh, neutral, or I can even use them and create another page with flowers at uh, the back. So this is going to double up the projects in this uh, book. I haven't decided yet, but I will let you know what I'm going to do with them. So that was the project for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired, and if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my videos already, make sure to do so, so you won't lose another video. For more inspiration, here are a couple of videos from the same mixed media journal. You can click uh, on uh, any of the videos on screen or if you are watching from a mobile device, then you can find the links to these videos just below in the details area. Thank you all for watching.